wavelength and frequency. The electromagnetic radiation is characterized by wavelengths and frequencies. It shows various forms from radio waves to gamma rays, and they're all ways to transfer energy. They all travel at the speed of light, which is 2.998 times 10 to the 8. And the speed of light is represented with a lowercase c. They all exhibit wave-like behavior, so we need to learn about waves. The line that cuts through the wave is the origin. The length from the origin to the very bottom or the origin to the very top is the amplitude. The height of the wave is the crest, and the distance from crest to crest is wavelength. Wavelength can also be measured one entire up and one entire down. So the distance between those two red dots is one wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between successive crests while frequency is the number of waves that pass a given point per second. The equation is wavelength times frequency equals speed of light. Lambda is wavelength. We would do something like that. The units for wavelength, wavelength would be meters, nanometers, centimeters, it's going to be in any form of length. Frequency is the waves per second, and it kind of looks like a V, but that's actually new. It has a little bit fatter of a V, but if you want to just make it a V, but it's not a V. It's waves per second, HZ, which is hertz. Or seconds negative one. That seconds negative one means one over seconds. And finally, C is the speed of light, which is 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Wavelength and frequency are inversely related. As wavelength increases, Frequency decreases. Assuming that both of these boxes on the top and the bottom are one second long, the box on the bottom, or the blue one, has a greater frequency than the red one because the wavelength is shorter in the blue one than in the red diagram. If we wanted to calculate the frequency of the red diagram, cut off that little tail just to make it easier. We have one up, one down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's one, two, three, four. Four cycles for every, we said, one second. So it would have a frequency of 4 hertz. So we're going to pause the video and figure out the frequency of this wave. Restart when you have your answer. So we had three cycles. So we had three cycles for every 1.5 seconds, which gives us a frequency of two. In this problem, they said the wavelength is equal to 550 nanometers. We do not know the frequency. And the speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the positive 8 
meters per second. When solving problems, you need to make sure that your wavelength is in meters. Because if you look at your speed of light, it's in meters per second. So I'm going to write my equation. I'm solving for frequency. So frequency is equal to speed of light over our wavelength. So my speed of light, that's meters per second. Remember that when you have two units, the second unit goes on the bottom. And I need to put wavelength on bottom, which was 550 nanometers. Right now, my units do not cancel. So I need to convert my nanometers to meters. Or I could convert meters to nanometers. Remember, the 1 goes with the prefix, and nano is 1 times 10 to the negative 9. If you've forgotten how to do your metric conversions, you may want to go back and look at that video. Now my nanometers cancel, meters cancel, and I'm left with seconds on the bottom, which is the unit for hertz. Plugging that in, I want two significant figures, and that should be your answer. Again, your unit could have been seconds negative one, hertz, one over seconds, any of those things would have been fine. Always double check that your units are canceling and that you're left with the unit that you want. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Restart when you have your answer. So those are my givens. Writing my equation and rearranging it. I get so, so speed of light divided by frequency should give me wavelength. I need to put frequency on the bottom. Hertz, though, isn't going to cancel out with my units. So although Hertz is easier to write, when we're plugging it in, we want to plug in seconds. Remember that seconds, the units are 1 over seconds. So seconds should go on the opposite side of my number, because the 1 technically went here. Now notice your seconds cancel out, and you're left with meters, which is one of the units for wavelength and what we want our answer in. So divide, and we want three significant figures. And so that's what you should have gotten for your answer. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Restart when you have your answer. The answer you should have gotten is A. To see how we got that answer, let me make some room and erase it. So those were your givens, our equation. And now we can plug in our values. Wavelength needs to go on the bottom. Notice meters and centimeters are not canceling. So centimeters to meters. There's one centimeter for every 1 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. Cancel the units. And solving, we want three significant figures. So three significant figures, this would round up. B 
leaving you with 4.10 times 10 to the 14th hertz, or 1 over seconds. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Restart when you have your answer. The answer you should have gotten is B. To see how we got that answer, let's look at it. Those are your givens, and that's my rearranged equation. Plugging it in, notice my meters and nanometers do not cancel, so I'm going to have to convert nanometers to meters. And nano is 10 to the negative 9. Nanometers cancel. Meters cancel. I'm left with seconds. So plugging that in. You get this, but we want two significant figures. And again, it's frequency. So it's hurts.